Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Prophetess Nikki G and I'm going to dive right into this video family concerning a question, a concern that one of my viewers has spoke to me about and wanted to address. And I want you to know that some people will not care when you leave their life. Listen to me family. I want you to be in a place in your life where you're just really and honestly, really and truly unbothered by the actions of other people because some people will do their best to gain a reaction out of you and it doesn't matter if that's a negative reaction or if it's a positive reaction you know people want some kind of reaction from you they want to try to pull you out of your silence they want to try to pull you out of your peace whatever you do don't ever allow anything or anybody to pull you out of your peace don't let anybody come in your life and disrupt your peace People are going to realize, family, that you have truly moved on. Some people will look at you as you just left or they walked away. When people walk away or when you walk away, people won't care so much. And I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can. Some people will not care because you walked away and they won't care when they walk walk away and why do I say that I say that because some people really when they walk away from you these people thought that they were really really walking away from you and walking into something that was so much better than you this is when people will become they will become so negative in their actions and they will be so eager to be rude and dishonorable and have such a don't care attitude about what they've done to you and how they've done this to you and it's not always what we do is how we do it and it's not that people left your life it's how they left your life it's not what people did to you it's how they did what they did to you they did these things to you in the way they did them to you because they thought whatever they were leaving behind was of no value, was of no worth. That is you. And they thought whatever they were walking into was of greater value and greater worth than what you are in their eyes. Only to find out that they were hooking up and connecting to something or to someone that was a nightmare it was like something from a movie. It was a nightmare. And now people care that you have moved on. Because they see you do life without them. They see you fulfilling the dreams that you once discussed. Now they see seeing that they cannot be a part of that. This is when people would care. They would care when you walk on whenever you move on they won't care so much whenever you leave their life they won't care so much when they leave your life because when they leave your life they don't think they're going to come back or want to come back into your life they don't think they're going to want to do life with you and some people don't want to do life with you these are some hard truths and i want you to understand this this is why you can never give somebody that much power over you this is why you can never sit by in your life and be idle and to wait on the return of somebody. This is why you cannot pray and ask God to give you someone or something in your life that held you in not high honor. These people didn't hold you in high regard. They didn't hold you in high honor. They didn't hold you in high honor and high regard. And maybe you're concerned as to why they didn't. Because they saw you as less. They saw you as nothing. They didn't view you as anybody that was worthy to be invested in. So this is why people mishandled you and this is why people treated you the way that they did. This is why people didn't care if you left. This is why people didn't care when they walked away. But they now are caring because you have moved on. It's a difference when you walk away or when somebody walk away from you. There's a huge difference from moving on. You've moved on. And now people are in their feelings and now people will become angry. They will become bitter. They will become envious. They will become jealous. They will become hateful. They will become more mean. Why are people going to go through these emotions? 
because they realize you've moved on. They realize that you're standing firm and you're not being moved. There's nothing that people can do to bring you up out of your peace. There's nothing that people can do to cause you to turn around and go back. You have no desire to go back. And once you truly and honestly make up in your mind that you're not going back, family, people will care because you've moved on. They didn't care when you left and they didn't care so much when they walked away and left you in these situations and these conditions. But they care when you move on. We treat, we teach people how to treat us. And so often in life, people would not care because they feel as though what they're leaving behind and what they're walking into is so much better than you. When you're superficial and when you're an opportunist, this is what people do. This is how they live their life. This is how they always live their life. You know, people like this are not just narcissistic people. They, these people are gaslighters. These people are groomers. And they're always looking for the next best thing. This is why you have to know who you are yourself. This is why you must know your own value. You must know your own honor. And you must know your own worth. Because if you let somebody define your worth, if you allow somebody to define your value, and when they walk away and leave your life, it's going to devastate you. Never allow somebody that much power and control over your life. And don't give yourself, don't give your emotions away to people like this. Because it's going to leave you broken. It's going to always leave you fragmented to pick up the pieces of your own life while somebody else walk somewhere else and build. Allow them to walk away. Allow them to build what they have chosen to build. You allow people to do that. And when they see that they can't come back to you, when they see that you have truly moved on, family, sometimes people will care. But as I encourage and counsel this individual, I pray that you live a life where you don't care. I pray that you will live a life where you're more focused on your own healing and your own health emotionally than the opinions of somebody else and the actions of somebody else. You have always been there. You can't be too available to people. You can't be codependent on another person and you can't overextend and overgive. You have to know when to walk away. You have to know when to run. You have to know when not to invest. You have to know how much to invest. You have to know this. And whenever you see the true character of someone, whenever you see the true integrity of somebody, when someone shows you their true fruit, it is time to pull back. It is time to withdraw. Why do you feel some sort of way by withdrawing? Why do you feel condemned when you withdraw from a person who is not invested in you? Why do you feel as if you have to sit there and take that and keep doing your best to build, to keep trying? No, family, you can't keep trying to build anything on your own because you're doing this all on your own. Give people the grace to make their own decisions and allow them an opportunity to live in that. You have to get to a place in your life where your life that you live is about you. The decisions that you make is about you. The choices that you make is about you. You have to get to that place in life when you do that. This is why some people will not care whenever you leave. This is why some people won't care when they leave your life. But sometimes they will care when they see you move on because they didn't think you were strong enough to move on. They didn't look at you as somebody that had strength. They looked at you as someone who was weak because they saw how they treated you and they know what you allowed and what you accepted. You accepted so much mistreatment from some people and people will prejudge you for that. They will continue to hurt you. They will continue to devalue you. It's a game to a lot of people to play this pulling, this push and pull game with you, to play this tug of war game with you until you remove yourself out of the equation. Now these people are walking around with a, like a chicken with their head cut off. 
trying to figure out where you are and, and why aren't you participating? Why aren't you a part of their foolishness? And why aren't you a part of their game? Because you have spiritually awakened. God has awakened you up. God has quickened your spirit. And God has severed these ties and these entanglements that you were connected with because that season of your life is over. God said enough is enough. It is time for you to move forward. It is time for me to show you your value. It's time for me to show you your honor. And it's time for me to put you in a position where you can know who you are and who you belong to. You will always accept less than whenever you think you don't deserve better. This is why you do things that you know that probably you shouldn't be doing. It's because you don't feel like you deserve better. It's a part of you that will sit there and accept the little percent that someone gives you because in your mind, maybe you feel it's better to have a portion of someone than not have any of that person at all. I pray that you will transform your mind and renew it to this, that it's better to have 100% of an individual than to have 1% or 30%. Don't you know you deserve 100% of a person and not a portion of an individual, not a part of an individual? You deserve the whole person. And if a person cannot give you the entire part of them, don't accept less. Don't accept the crumbs. These people love when you accepted their crumbs. They love how you wore a revolving door. But the moment you moved on, you have so many people in their feelings because they didn't know the day would come that you would pull yourself out of their own equation and say, I'm not playing your game anymore. I am not going to be used as a game piece, as an individual that you play with and dishonor and disvalue. People will care when you move on. They will really and honestly care when you truly move on. Not so much when you leave. Not so much when you walk away. And not so much when they leave you or walk away. They won't care so much. Because in their mind, they always leave the possibility of you returning to play in their toxicity another round. But you're not going another round with their toxicity. You're not going another round with the unhealthiness that these people bring to the table. They don't bring stability to your table. You brought the stability to the table. You brought the win to the table. And all they were there was to reap the rewards. All these people were put in your life to do, family, was eat your fruit and to leave you barren. Now God has given you the strength to move on for good. Oh, a lot of people are in their feelings. This is when people will start to scandalize your name and, and speak with not so well of you because you moved on. Not walked away because whenever you walk away from something, there still leaves the potential of you returning. But when you truly move on, you are not going to return. And now people will know that you're not going to return. You have truly moved on. You have turned the page of your life and you're writing a new chapter. And they are no longer a part of your story. They're not. This is why people will care whenever you move on. And this is why people didn't care when you left or when they walked away from you. Because they said within themselves that I am leaving nothing and I'm getting ready to walk into everything but they found out that they left the greatest jewel never come out of your peace this is why you must love who you are love yourself and keep your mind focused on the things that are above keep your mind focused on your own path on your own dreams on your own journey and the time that you are going through this Lean into God so that you can heal, so you can know what you deserve, family of God. You deserve so much more than what people took you through. You deserve so much more than what you give yourself. You deserve so much more. Don't accept less than what you deserve. You don't have to. You don't have to have to accept less. If you're accepting less in your life, family, you have to ask yourself a question. Why am I accepting less? What is it about me that I'm refusing to keep my foot down? Because some people put their foot down, but they lift it back up. You can't be afraid to keep your foot down and say no whenever you need to say no. People will care whenever you move on, but they won't care so much whenever you leave. 
And they didn't care so much when they left you because they looked at your life as you weren't going to grow. You didn't fit the mold of their life. You didn't. These were superficial people. And they thought they were going where greener grass. But they didn't go where greener grass was. They went where a cesspool was up under that grass. But let people sit and rot. Let them rot in their own decisions. And you walk on into the land of Canaan that's going to flow with milk and honey. And don't allow the enemy to come behind you and come into your home. And to disrupt your peace and take the blessings that God gave you. Don't you do that, family of God. You heal. And you leave people where you left them. People will be upset with you whenever you mature, whenever you grow up, and whenever you move on. They're going to be upset and they're going to have an attitude. They're going to hate you for it. They're going to hate that they can't use you anymore. They're going to hate that they can't play games with you. They're going to hate it when you move on. They love it whenever you leave and come back. They love it whenever you go back and forth. They love it, family, because they know they have a hold on you. And that's your brokenness as to why you allow people to come in and out, why you go back and forth, why people treat you like a revolving door, because they know you're broken. But whenever you heal, you move on. You don't go back. You don't play. And people know that you're nothing to be played with. We got to go. We'll talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, family, thank y'all for what you do on our channel every single day. We're so grateful to all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share. Keep liking our videos. Keep liking them so that we can continue to reach more hurting and broken people for God's glory. Don't get scammed on our channel. You see these scammers, delete their notifications and delete all these replies that these people give you from these fake profiles. I'm not reaching out to anybody. I don't care where you see my picture icon. It is not going to be me. Do not follow my social media platform anywhere else except for here on my YouTube platform. Don't follow me anywhere else. I don't care where you see it. I do not want you all to get scammed. Do not get scammed, family. And move on with your life and care less. Just like you are. Stay in that mode of being unbothered. You have a future. And your future is really bright. So don't let the enemy come in and rob you of your peace. And to rob you of your future. And to take you out of the mode of healing that you're in. The devil don't like it when you're healing. He always has to show face whenever he see you healing. He always has to poke his nose in your life again. Because he don't want to. He don't want you to be strong. He wants you to stay in a position where he can cripple you to destroy you. But you go on. You go on and don't you give the devil place in your life another day in your life. You've given him too much time already in your life. You've given him too much space in your life. They care now because you moved on. But when people show you that they care because you've moved on, family, whatever you do, don't go back. I'm telling you all, don't you go back because people will show you that they care. But they didn't show you that, family, before. You always remember that. Why do they want to show me that they care now? And you let that be your decision making and be led by the Holy Spirit. Talk later.